Hi guys, Barry from Cogs vs Brass here, and today I'm going to be going through with you my top 5 Muse wallpaper plugins. Uh, I recently did a review of this application which simply allows you to put great wallpapers on a rotating scheme onto your phone, uh, and you can use plugins to vary the sources of images that go onto your wallpaper. Today I'm going to be doing my top 5, and I've picked these out because I think the image sources are really nice, and they generally produce really great results. So let's take a look at what they are now. Now, to get these extensions, all you need to do is go into the Play Store, search for Muse, that's M-U-Z-E-I, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, uh, and you'll see a list of apps there underneath the main application that are add-ons that you can get to change the sources of imagery. Um, I'll put all the links to the ones that I've actually found in the description below, so you can check them out for yourself. As you know, Muse comes with two default settings. It comes with the Featured Artist and the My Photo settings. But if you want to change those sources, you can add some by downloading them to the Play Store. The top five that I'm going to be going through are the ones I found that look really, really great. The first one is going to be 500 pixels. The reason why I like this one so much is because it's really customizable in what type of images you can search for. For example, you can select I want to see popular or editor pics from the nature section and it will give you really great results there. Or you can select another section, say abstract or urban, and you get different varieties of image depending on your taste. And you can do that just by going into the settings and you can see you have feature, you can say editors, popular or fresh upcoming. And then you've got the category search. We've got things like macro, landscapes, journalism, food, fine art. So there really is a lot of choice here that you can go through. And of course there is the option to refresh every hour or so many hours and to up, uh, update over Wi-Fi only. Uh, because 500 pixels does keep, uh, shall we say, autistic photos, um, you can choose to hide adult content if you so choose. If we go back, look at our second source. This is possibly my favourite, and I've talked about this in my previous video. Uh, it's called Cast for Muse, uh, and the reason why I like it is because I think that the images that Google curates for the Chromecast backgrounds are genuinely great, and I think they look amazing. Um, so Cast for Muse allows me to get those image feeds onto my phone so I can get those great wallpapers on here as well. The third one we're going to be looking at is Instagram. This is pretty much how it sounds. It takes your Instagram feed, uh, either your photos or your friends' feeds photos, uh, and puts them onto your background. You do have to sign in with your Instagram account to kind of authorize this, but it's just a two-step verification thing. Once you've done that, you can specify whether you want your photos or your friends, and they'll start showing up nicely on your background for you. The fourth one we're going to be looking at is NASA Image of the Day. Now the reason why I like this is because I'm very into sci-fi and space, um, so I really really like having space photos uh, on my background. Um, so image, uh, NASA's image of the day is a really great source for getting great uh, sort of sci-fi looking space photos on your background uh, in a really great way. And the last one, which I'm sure everyone is aware of, National Geographic. The photography and videography that they use in their programs and promotional uh, press material uh, is second to none. So the National Geographic uh, plugin for this is going to give you spectacular images, uh, mostly focused on nature. Um, you can see here that the one we've got on here uh, is the nice one uh, of a bird. I can just hide the text there. Uh, and you can see it looks absolutely amazing. Um, so National Geographic is going to give you great nature photographs. So those are my top five Muse plugins uh, for the application. Now, these are all free, and I'll put the link in the description below. Um, but let me know if you're using the app, guys, and which plugins you use and which are your favorite. Um, I'm personally probably going to stick with the Cast plugin, because as I said, I love the image sources that Google uses for the Cast backgrounds. This is Barry from Coffee vs. Glass, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.